The music was a very much a part of that, that period. It's kind of what bound young people together. We all listened to the same music and uh, kind of felt the same aspirations that it helped articulate what was wrong with the world and why we wanted to make the world a better place. One of my favorites came out in the fall of 1965, I believe, by the animals called We Gotta Get Out of This Place. We gotta get out of this place if it's the last thing we ever do. And initially it became the unofficial song of finals week. You'd go during, after your finals were done, go to a campus bar, put that in the jukebox and blast it out. Yeah, we gotta get out of this. You know, and we thought, as a student, we thought, you know, going through finals, we were really an oppressed class and all that. Where that came around for me was then I go to Vietnam and I was uh, back in the rear at the officers club in, in Ben Juan. There's a Filipino band playing there. And I'm, first of all, the incongruity of sitting in an air conditioned officers club, eating steak and having a band entertain you after I'd just been in the field, which was not a uh, pleasant or safe place to be struck me, but then the band started singing We Gotta Get Out of This Place, which of course became the unofficial anthem of the Vietnam soldiers. I gotta get out of this place, obviously. <laughs> and I'm leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> I'm a leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Those were the two favorite songs when, when I was there. They whip out those songs and we'd all get up and stand up and sing. Let's come to leave you one more time. Let me kiss you, then close your eyes. I'll be on my way. The lions sleep tonight. I can hum it, I don't know all the words, but it goes the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the great jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. The guys who go around singing that song, of all places, we're in the jungle. And I said, really? You're going to sing that song? So that was, we used to come out humming it. One guy would start, and next thing you know, we had a whole group of guys just humming that song. If there's one song that reminds me of military, it's James Taylor's I, I've Seen Fire and I've Seen Rain. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. I've seen sunny days that I thought would never end. I recently went to the funeral of a young Marine that was killed in Afghanistan and they played that and I just cried. And every time I hear that, I think, I've seen fire and I've seen rain. I didn't know when I was going to see you again. And that one brings me to tears. Probably the uh, Four Tops. We didn't get to listen to the radio like some people did. I mean, every now and then, uh, I was trying to say the, uh, just say the Four Tops and Supremes and the Temptations. Right? We uh, mostly uh, adapted to because I didn't get to listen to the radio very often. I was out in the field. I'm your puppet. Uh, that, uh, that was sent to to me. I remember um, the five stair steps and their music. But the one that was top was Lou Rawls Live. The album Lou Rawls Live. That was it. Music was part of our therapy even in uh, Vietnam. There were songs that I'll always associate with uh, Vietnam, including Creedence Clearwater Revival, Bad Moon Rising, Rolling Stones, some of their early hits. And when I hear those songs, of course, it's a trigger, but not a negative trigger, because th that was a positive uh, part of Vietnam, the music. I've noticed the, the 50th anniversary of Sgt. Pepper is talking a lot. How fascinating it was, every time a new Beatles album came out, everybody got psyched up. Who could get to the record store first 
to buy the new Beatles album and play it. And I remember hearing those albums as they came out. And at first, when I first heard Sgt. Pepper, I wasn't sure about it because I was, I kind of liked the earlier Beatles up, up tempo type stuff. But as time has gone on, I've really learned to appreciate how much their music set the tone for that whole period. In a way, there was kind of a hostile takeover of pop culture by young people in the 60s, particularly young people in college. And the music was a big way. Part of the appeal of the music was that you liked it. Part of the appeal was your parents didn't. And it was a way to kind of establish a sense of generational identity. Sergeant.